if you've been watching, I've, I've put a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel um, and on my website for Apple Configurator. And as I find out new things about it, I try to pass them on to you to hopefully make your life easier as you're using it. There's a couple of settings on there that I found that you may want to uncheck that might make your life a little bit easier when using this. If I go up to the top where it says Apple Configurator, and I'll click on it, and then I see the drop-down menu. I'm going to go down to, to Preferences. When I click on Preferences, this box will open up. There's a couple of things that are checked by default that you may want to turn off. The first one I would say right away you want to turn off. This one, when a supervised device is connected, automatically refresh. When it says supervised device, what that means is any single iPad that you connect or any cart that you connect, it, the second that you plug them in with Configurator open, it will start trying to make changes to them according to the settings that you've already got in Configurator. Most of the time we go into Configurator, the idea is either to change some of the settings or to add or remove apps. Sometimes when you connect the cart, you may not have made those changes yet. You've not you know, unchecked things that you wanted to uncheck or checked things that you want to check, added the apps yet. If you uncheck that button, what that means is you can connect the cart, you can connect any iPads, it will not make any changes to anything until you hit the button refresh that's at the bottom. So it gives you time to check and make sure that uh, if it's a cart of 25, every single one of them is plugged in and connected, um, which is really nice. Uh, that way you're not making changes to 20 of them and got to figure out which five of them are not connected or didn't have the changes yet. So I would recommend unchecking that right away. This second one, this one I'm a little bit unsure on whether or not you're going to want to uncheck it. It's really going to depend on your situation. What this one says is when a supervised device is refreshed, remove apps and profiles configurator did not install. If your cart and your iPad stay contained in your room and you always use configurator to update it, you can leave that checked because what it'll mean is anything the students do, any changes they make, it will remove. So the students try to add apps or um, add profiles or anything on a configurator, it will remove all of those things that you did not add and put back on the ones that you have put in place. So there's a reason to leave that checked. On the other hand, if you've got students that go, uh, just for a great example, I had this come up the other day, some students go to the gifted program or if students see a special ed teacher, or if students go to reading intervention, there may be a specific app that that teacher wants installed. You might be still installing it from your account. More than likely, you should still install it from your account. But you don't necessarily want that app on your entire class set. You just want it for those students for when they go to see that teacher. If you uncheck this, what that means is you can continue making changes, global changes, to all of your iPads, including those five or six or even single ones. It won't remove any additional apps that have been put on in those situations. So that's a reason why you'd want to uncheck that, is if you've got certain iPads in your classroom, you're like, hey, we want to take these five and do something special with them. We still want to add on everything and do everything that we're doing with the rest of the class, but there's a couple of apps because they leave the room or if they work in a small group that we want on that are specific to that group. So because of that, you're going to want to uncheck it. So hopefully this will help you. Like I said, this first one you're going to want to uncheck for sure. It'll just make your whole life easier by the fact that you can make decisions before uh, it'll refresh. And then this one you're going to want to uncheck if uh, you have special reasons why you might want to add an app or two on without going through Configurator. This will make sure that doesn't get removed. So hopefully that's a little bit helpful for you.